on you guys what's up you know I gotta say what to do welcome back to my channel it is Monday so I hope you guys have had an incredible productive start to your week just wanted to thank you again for tuning in for another video it's always so appreciated whether you've been here for years you know you like rocking with me for so long or whether you're a new follower I'm very appreciative to have you uh, and I am Jordan if you're new, did I already say that? Okay. Uh, today's video is just going to be another like really casual sit down chit chat with you guys. I wanted to talk about the procedure I had done to my teeth because I have been getting countless questions on it the past few months. Um, it was, and I want to start off not necessarily like a disclaimer, but just, I will be super honest with you guys about every part of the procedure and the cost and everything like that. I definitely, you already know this, but I want you to feel like anything on my channel you that I have like done or changes I make or anything that you know, I'll be very open and transparent with you guys about it. Um, but I do also want to say at the very beginning when I first got first got my teeth done I didn't know if I wanted to make a full-on video about it I knew I would address it obviously because it's a physical change and I knew you guys would see it and it was something that made me happy and more confident um, And I have been answering questions about my teeth for the past two months on social media But I didn't know if I wanted to do like an actual full-on YouTube video just because obviously it does seem like anytime Someone changes any little thing physically about them. Someone always has something else to say um, and you guys already know how I feel about you like my subscribers I feel like I have an incredibly positive audience and I want to thank you guys So many of you on social media have just been saying that you think I look so great or it was a great decision Or my teeth look amazing and you've been nothing but complimenting So you guys have made me feel like safe enough I guess to like make this video um, But I also think it's totally okay for you to want to change something about yourself physically And it had nothing to do with me not like loving myself or liking the way I looked before you can take a look at my old videos I I have been putting myself out there online and on social media publicly for three years with my like old teeth I guess you could say and there was nothing wrong with them to the fact to where this was something I needed to do it wasn't a necessity I don't want to come on here and like promote that to like the younger audience that you have to do this it's just something I personally did and I am so incredibly happy with the results and I'll be super upfront with you guys about that I'm so happy I did it I love it I love smiling I think my teeth look incredible now for like my visual appearance and what I like because it's my body I think you know they look great I'm really happy I did it and I guess there's a lot more of you who are interested in porcelain veneers than I even thought because I the amount of questions I've been getting about my teeth has been insane so I just want to go over every little detail for you guys about like why I did it I think a lot of you think there was not a major difference or a major change in the way that my mouth looks and there actually is so in a lot of my older pictures I would actually whiten my teeth for like Instagram I would go on like an app and I would like whiten up my teeth Again, not because I didn't like not like my smile, but you know, the picture just looked way better with my teeth. Did my camera just fall? With my teeth whiter. So I can admit that I did that. That's not a big deal to me. And I also did have two cracks in this tooth and the one right behind it on my right side. And then you also know from watching a tea time video like a month ago, I had an issue on one of my back teeth in the front where they had to pull it out. And for me to get an implant in that area was going to be like three to four thousand dollars anyways. So I had seen people like on and off within the past few years who had veneers and I thought they looked incredible. It was something if I could afford it that I always wanted to do. Again, not a necessity, but something that you know if I could do it I wanted to just because with what I do every day for work I'm on camera all the time again I don't think this is like a necessity for a normal person um, so yeah just the whole process I guess to like start you guys from the beginning um, took about two months um, I ended up going to a doctor in Sherman Oaks who I was referred to from another youtuber Annie I always say her last name wrong I think it's Bardeniski or something. I'll put a picture of right here. She's beautiful. I've talked with her back and forth. She recommended him to me. I had gone previously to two other consultations after I had this whole like dental issue and I knew instead of spending that much on one tooth that I might as well just get the top row done since it's something I wanted to do for a while. Anyways, I wanted to go in, have a consultation, see how much it would cost, how long the process was going to be. And then um, I think I was just on Instagram or maybe I had seen her video and Annie's top teeth looked just incredible like movie star perfectly white like so like the perfect shape for her exact like facial structure I just thought she looked absolutely gorgeous and I reached out and asked who she went through and she said she went to Dr. Abian in Sherman Oaks and um, so I went for a consultation I actually went two times there to really talk to the doctor and feel super comfortable before I made any final decision and that is where I decided to go and up until this day now like a month post-op or like whatever you want to call it I am extremely happy that I went to that office they are honestly incredible another quick little thing I want to mention I think you already know this if you're a follower of mine like you can tell but this is not sponsored in any way shape or form they are not like compensating me whatsoever to shout out their office it's actually like on the contrary I'm actually on a payment plan to pay off these because first of all I just got the top row done um, and a lot of you are asking why didn't I get both 
it's really pricey you guys well here's the thing it's pricey to where like it's an investment and it's obviously you know nothing that's necessary so it's a little bit higher of a cost if you will but then again it's not that pricey in the actual long term when you think of everything because they do offer payment plans which is awesome one of the other consultation doctors i went to did offer payment plans and the other one didn't so i know all offices don't and i think it's really amazing the place i ended up choosing that they do they're letting me basically pay off the entire cost of this top row within six months which is really really cool they offer care credit there so if any of you are thinking about getting them done but you think it's too pricey but as long as you have like a stable job and you can make the monthly payments, I think it's incredible that they offer a payment plan. Obviously, I'll have the exact office I went to and the exact doctor in the down bar if you're curious. Um, they are in Sherman Oaks, so it was about a two hour drive for me every time I had to go up for an appointment. Um, so overall, it does take about four appointments to get your teeth done. And I think another misconception is that people think I had every single tooth done in the top row. I only had eight teeth done. They basically have you smile when you go in for your first appointment and they wanna see how wide your smile is. Some people's smile is very, very small like this and you might only need like the first four teeth done in the very, very front because maybe your smile just doesn't open that crazy. Me, I have like a big ass mouth and I just have like a very wide, if I do a full smile for you guys, you can clearly see like from here all the way to here. So they just measured that out. And he said he thinks that it would look best because I told him I'm on camera every day and I want go on like Instagram taking pictures and stuff. And I'm like on video a lot that eight teeth would be what I would need. It does take about six to eight weeks for the entire full process. Like I said, the first two times I went up there was the consultation, figuring out the price. I believe they'll give you some type of discount if you wanna pay everything up in full. Um, I only had to put 2000 down and I was able to finance the rest over a six month period. Like I said, I guess I don't mind like telling you guys that. Someone on Instagram was like, please, please talk about the cost. And I was like, duh, like, I don't know. Like, I don't mind telling you guys. Um, so it depends what type of veneers that you want. I chose to go with porcelain veneers. They have an entire, a uh, little paper they'll give you of how white you want them. There's tons of different degrees of white. On mine, I believe we did shade number two and we did a gradient effect so they would look like real teeth. So if you look at me and I smile, they're not bleached to the point where you're like, oh, she has veneers. Our whole goal was for people to be like, dang, you have an amazing natural smile. I didn't want them to look too, too fake, but I still wanted them to look like damn good for me paying that much and you know having to go through the entire procedure, which is actually a little bit more invasive than I thought. Um, the office I went to, like, they took great care of me, just being honest, like, they were amazing. I would, I still have to go back for more cleanings and stuff, and I would recommend this office to anyone, um, but it is a little bit more of an invasive procedure than I thought it would be, and I just want to be really upfront with you guys, if you're looking to get this done, they have to shave down all of your teeth. So the first appointment is when they put the, the gel and, like, the, um, what's it called, like, putty in your teeth to take the molds, and then they have to send those molds off to the lab, and you decide, like, what size... Um, like new teeth or new veneers that you want if you want them more circular or more squared or how you want them to fit your face if you want to have a little bit of an overbite to where they like hang a little bit lower everyone's preferences are different I basically just brought in photos of girls on Instagram of teeth that I really liked and I showed the doctor and we kind of like replicated that for my face shape um, again I will insert a before and after of my teeth and I think you guys are going to see a much bigger difference than you thought there even was um, just because a lot of you had never seen me in person up close before I got these and like I can definitely tell a huge huge difference um, so the first few times you're going up or you're going to the office if it's local that's great for you guys I had to drive like two hours each time just because that's where I chose to go because that's where I felt the most comfortable um, in the consultation and that's just who I wanted to hire um, but the third visit you go up is where they start actually shaving down your teeth so I believe I got like 10 to 12 shots um, like six in the right on the top like gum area and six in the left and let me tell you I felt like I had just had lip injections or like cheek injections or whatever my entire face swelled up right here I wasn't in any pain because the injections actually numb your entire mouth so that when they shave down your teeth you're not in any pain so the point is for you to not be able to feel anything I was numb though like just so you guys can be prepared for it if you want to do this I was numb from here all the way to right under my eyes underneath my eyes started tingling it was kind of crazy like I had never I've gotten my lips done and stuff in the past but this was the most um like numb and like tingling sensation that my whole face has ever had and it was a really weird feeling you can't move your tongue you can't like you can't move anything basically you're just it's like a complete numbing block of your whole face 
which is incredible because they don't want you to feel the pain of you shaving down your teeth, but just know that you're gonna be sitting there for multiple hours feeling that way till it wears off. So yeah, basically they shaved down my teeth and what they did is they put on temporary veneers. You're able to go home for like a week or two and wear your temporary veneers, which you need to be careful with. They basically had mine like temporarily cemented on um, and I wore those for like two weeks. That was right before Christmas. So I got, that's when I started getting a ton of questions on Instagram and on YouTube. I'll insert some clips here of what my temporary ones look like because they did look a little bit different than how my final ones ended up looking. Um, I loved my temporary ones. I think they looked incredible. Um, they just looked so amazing. It was such a new change for me. I would smile and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a huge difference. I'm so happy I'm doing this. With the temporary ones though, it's one piece. So if you are not careful and you bite into something hard and your entire temporary piece can just fall out. So you have to be really, really careful. Um, with the final veneers, of course, these are individual teeth. So you're able to floss up in between them. The temporary set is one block. So you can brush them, but you cannot floss because they're all just basically connected. It's like one little temporary piece, basically. You're only supposed to wear them for like a week to like four weeks maximum just because, oop, because the temporary cement does um, what's it called? It like, what am I saying here? It like diminishes over time. They're basically meant to be temporary. So you're just wearing those while the lab is making your final molds basically. Um, so I wore my temporaries, made sure that I liked the size, the color. I was super happy with them. That's when so many of you first started noticing on Instagram and like everything. I think I did a YouTube, like a sale video for Ulta or something. And every question was like, dude, your teeth, your teeth. Oh my God. And I was like, yeah, a lot of you, I think thought those were the final ones, but, and if you have never researched porcelain veneers, you might not even know that you have to go through that temporary phase. Um, but yeah, then I went back like two, I want to say like two and a half weeks later, my final teeth were done. Super exciting seeing all of them there in the office, like individually. Um, and I got to just double check that I liked the color, that I liked the size. They take the temporary mold out and they put the new veneers on. They don't cement them on yet. They just kind of put them there one by one to make sure you like the placement, that you're happy with them. If you're not, they're able to glue your temporary set back on. You can send these back to the lab and make sure that if you want it longer here or like a different color here, they're super specific at this office that I went to of making sure that you leave with the best results, which I love because I'm really picky on certain things, especially if you're going to invest like five, 10, 15 grand in new smile, you want it to be everything you want and you're so allowed to be picky with it. Um, so I love that they let me make a few changes actually before I got the final ones and that I didn't feel like I was like annoying the doctor or like making him send them back. He was like, no, this is an investment. Like we want to leave knowing we have a satisfied customer. So yeah, my fourth visit up there was to get the final ones actually like glued on for the final process. Um, and I just remember I was like a little nervous that day, but so excited. Nothing hurt. Um, you get two more shots in your gums to just make sure you're top row or if you're doing top and bottom, maybe both. I'm not sure if they would split up the visits. Um, but you're completely numb and then they just use the permanent cement and they put them on one by one. They make sure you like them, that you're happy. They have you bite down a few times, make sure your bite is proper and like however you like it. Um, it does take a little adjustment to get used to them at home. I have a little bit more of an overbite now because I chose my teeth to be a little bit longer in the front. So that was something I personally had to get used to but um, it wasn't that big of a deal because I visually am very happy with how they look. So that like way like outweighed that, the uncomfortableness. Um, the only thing I would be weary of is like the pain of having your teeth shaven down, even though they do numb you. The rest of that night on the first day that I had my teeth shaven down, I just wanna be honest with you guys that I was in a lot of pain. I could barely eat. I would just eat like yogurt or a smoothie that night. No hard food at all. It's kind of weird. It's like they numb you so you don't feel the pain, yet when all of that numbing solution wears off later in the night and you're like back home, your mouth, it's a weird sensation. It just feels kind of like sore because um, you've basically had all of your teeth shaven down. And they're actually pretty conservative with it there. Um, I still have some of my own teeth left under these, but not much. He said he's a really conservative doctor in comparison to other ones. He'll only shave it down as much as he needs to. He won't shave you down to like absolutely nothing, which I think is great. Um, so yeah, overall the process wasn't too, too long. It took about three to four visits total. And now I have to go back every few months for my cleanings and just for them to make sure that they're positioned in the right place. Um, but yeah, overall, I am incredibly happy with them. You guys, it's something I could finally, even though I am financing it over time, it's still, I still made it like fit in my budget. Um, I would love to do the bottom row in the future, just like being super honest with you guys. Cause I love how they look. They're just pricey. Obviously I'm saving for a house and other things right now, but if I wanted to in the future, it is a process I would go through again 
to get those same results on my bottom row just because I am so happy with them and I am on video all the time and Instagram and I just personally feel like it makes a huge difference and it's made me more confident to smile. Um, like I said, it's not that I didn't like hate my look before. I was on video for years and years with like my old teeth. So it wasn't something to where like I hated my image or the way I looked, but I knew if it was something I wanted to change and I had the means to do that, that I was gonna do it at some point, like sooner or later, after of course having done enough research and really being like positive that I wanted to. And yeah, I just wanna remind you guys overall, like don't ever let someone else make you feel bad for wanting to make a change for your own life whether that's physically or you're wanting to maybe like slim down a bit so you can feel a bit more confident, have more energy. Don't let other people make you feel like visually if you want to change things about yourself that makes you fake or like anything like that. I find that the people who are just hating like that, I don't know, maybe they're upset with their own life or they don't have the means to change something for themselves or they're in an unhealthy state and they see you doing really good, you grinding, you hustling, you getting this for yourself and they just want to hate on it. like. We don't even have time to spend on those people, so we're not gonna address it any further, but I just wanna let you guys know, if you're looking into changing something for yourself that you think will make you happier or more confident, and you truly do have that deep self-love within you, which is obviously where everything starts, but you do wanna change something visually, like I've been so upfront with you guys, I want a boob job, I'm still on my weight loss journey, I'm actually losing like a lot of breast tissue as I lose weight, and I know I'm gonna get that done, and I'm gonna feel damn proud, you know, that I'm able to afford it, and that that's something I wanna change, I shouldn't feel bad about that, so. I don't know, you just always tend to get little comments here and there when you change anything physically about yourself, right? But yeah, instead I just figured I would jump on and be super transparent with you guys about the whole process. It's something I'm not sure about other offices because I have never been anywhere else, but where I went, I was treated amazing. I felt very, very comfortable with the doctor. Um, I looked up tons of before and afters from Dr. Avian and he's been doing this like 20 years. He's incredible. Um, like I said, they are based out of Sherman Oaks, so I'll leave their... Uh, phone number, address, like anything I can in the bottom bar if you guys want to go to them, that'd be super cool. If you guys have any other like veneer questions or questions about the procedure that I didn't cover, I think I covered everything, um, leave them down below. You guys know I read every comment, you know I'll get back to you, and be sure to also follow me on social media if you would like. It's always super appreciated. Um, right after this, I'm about to do a little outfit change and film a girl boss video, so that'll be coming in like a day or two, so please make sure you're subscribed. I appreciate you guys watching, and for all the support, as always, you know I love you, and I will see you in the next one.